The statistics reveal that the cybersecurity industry is currently flooding with jobs. It has been reported that there are fewer people than required to fill all the roles in cybersecurity. The prominent positions that companies are advertising for are covered in the following slides. Let's discuss. Okay, there we go. So you must be thinking that uh, pen testers earn more, but it's incorrect. Obviously, management makes more and after the manager's position, the security architecture or the people responsible to design the secure infrastructure considered more valuable. So this is the top 10 cybersecurity job roles from top to bottom. The salary information taken from the payscale.com and it's the annual average salary in the United States. Now let's discuss the job responsibilities of each role along with required education and certifications. Just to keep an eye, there you can see the CISO and the CSO information are security architect, security assessor, information security manager, malware analyst, pen tester, incident manager. However, whenever you search on the internet, you see a lot of content on uh, the pen testing process, uh, but people uh, hardly discuss these things. But to be very honest, they are more important or, or job roles and the people working on these position earn more than the pen tester or incident manager. Anyway, let's discuss. CISO take care or take over the overall responsibilities of the security of the organization. They, they are uh, in charge of directing operation and getting funds allocated for cybersecurity functions. This is a executive level position. And uh, the, the, the people working on this position ensure the compliance of security policies from top to down. CISO job are often filled by highly learned individuals that possess both technical and management skills. Other tasks include developing budgets, collaborating with uh, audits, and making sure that the company complies with the relevant laws and regulations. Generally speaking, a CISO needs a solid technical business and management foundation, undergraduate degree in computer, uh, preferably a masters with 7 to 12 years of managerial position experience along with certifications such as CISA, CISSP, CISM, etc. The CISO does not only need to understand the technicalities, but they are expected to understand the compliance as well, such as the PC, uh, PCI, HIPAA, NIST, etc. And then we have the Chief Security Officers or CSO. CSO and CISO are sometimes used interchangeably. And in some organizations, they are the same people performing similar tasks. It is clear that the CISO and, CIS, uh, and CSO are both executive positions and they have both technical and management skills. However, the CSO in many organizations, a high ranking position that provides the security functions to the executives. CSO ensure that organizations have advocate business continuity plans to prevent a cyber attack scenario that brings all business to a standstill. They also ensure that enough security tools and techniques have been implemented to avoid data, monetary and reputation losses that may arise from a cyber attack. The chief security officer should have bachelor's and a master's degree with the previously mentioned certs like CISSP and CISA. Security architect is a very interesting and exciting position or job role. Cybersecurity architect is a senior level position responsible for planning, designing, testing, implementing and maintaining an organization's computer and network security infrastructure. 
Security architects oversee any changes that are to be made to the network so that they do not put the organization at risk. Security architects need at least a bachelor degree in computer science or IT and relevant professional experience. Many enter the field with hacking or pen testing expertise. Suggested certifications are uh, the Information System Security Architecture Professional, which is the part of the CISSP, and Defensible Security Arch Architecture. And apart from this, few certifications, uh, beginner level that the EC Council offer. One is the uh, Defender Network Defenders uh, certification. I will share the link uh, down in the description. Anyway, so let's move to the other uh, part of the job role. And then we have the cybersecurity manager. It is not expected that the existing system and network admins will oversee the burden of cybersecurity. They might lack the expertise or be left behind by trends in cybersecurity or cybercrime. This is why organizations are creating cybersecurity manager position to oversee all cybersecurity programs on network and systems. These managers perform the task such as monitoring compliance with policies, ensuring IT security audits are required, keeping tabs on the patching or threat mitigation efforts, and also managing any cybersecurity incidences. Cybersecurity managers serve as a backbone of the organization's cybersecurity efforts and are expected to have a wide scope of knowledge in this particular domain some certifications are mentioned here so this is the uh, another extension of the cissp with the management point of view and then the security leadership certificate obviously the bachelor degree and master are preferably required most of the organizations are required these uh, educational background people with this educational background anyway now let's discuss the security control assessors this role conducts independent comprehensive assessments of the management operational and technical security controls and control enhancement employed within or inherited by an IT system to determine overall effectiveness of the system or controls to be very honest this job role is not very common However, the governing bodies need assessors to perform the security control assessment. As a rule of thumb, a minimum bachelor degree and master's preferable. As far as the certification are concerned, there is not much ex explicitly designed for this job role. However, technical and management skills are required. Alright, we have discussed the top five positions. However, there are others as I have mentioned them before in the second slide if I'm not mistaken of this particular topic. Kindly read the blog post that I published discussing all the uh, all these roles and their required certifications. The link in the description you will get details of everything. See you in the following video.